Last night, one Midland native took home an honor on the biggest stage in theater. Michael Arden won the Tony Award for Best Director of a Musical, the third time Arden has been nominated on Broadway and his first time taking home the hardware. Tyler Dupnik is with us tonight with more on Arden's exciting accomplishment. Tyler. Yeah, that's right, Alex. From acting at Midland Community Theater to directing a Tony Award-winning musical is quite the success story. Today, I spoke with a couple of Michael's friends who acted with him when he was just a kid about his victory. Can you guys kind of speak on how cool it was to see him win a Tony Award? Ah. Oh, I mean, that's like the highest honor. I mean, <laughs> absolutely screamed. Yeah. <laughs> you know. From a start on a stage in Midland. It, it, it's it just how he got his feet wet and got things going, but he has become uh, so much more skilled uh, as he went on. To the spotlight and a Tony in New York. I think he's very proud. I mean, because oh, we, you know, those of us that know him and those of us that love him and are, uh, uh, you know, follow him and are care about him, it, it, it's a big moment for, for all of us and, and for this theater. Carl and Jane Moore both spent time with Michael at Midland Community Theater in the 1990s, seeing a special talent early on. Doing Secret Garden with him, I was closer to him at that point. I played the housekeeper um, for uh, this sick little boy and his father. Um, and he was, yeah, there was a spark there. You could, you could actually see it. A spark that began with opportunities at MCT. You have opportunities in community theater that you wouldn't ne necessarily have in professional theater. You can play a much wider variety of roles in community theater than you can. So you get your feet wet in all kinds of areas. Opportunities that ultimately led Michael to an inspiring Tony Award win. You can go, go as far as you, as, as you want to go. You know, you can get a Tony. If you go into film, you could get an Oscar. You could get whatever it is that your passion takes you. So mm -hmm. That might not be his last. We just hope that uh, it's not the only time he gets one. So. <laughs> and the executive director for the Midland Community Theater, Tim Jebson, told me Michael was a member of MCT's Picket Players in the 90s while doing many shows. Jebson noted that he was happy and proud that Michael was recognized for his work by the Broadway community. And Alex, we certainly feel the same way.